here we do some problems on uh, residue theorem and uh, the calculus of residues uh, first question is uh, find the residue of uh, f of z is equal to 1 over e to the power 5z at uh, z equal to 0 so we know that uh, this is an essential singularity and uh, therefore uh, this can be expanded and we can find the residue so e to the power 1 over 5z is equal to 1 plus 1 over 5z plus 1 over 2 factorial into 1 over 5z whole square plus etc so residue is uh, nothing but the coefficient of uh, z minus z0 here here z0 is uh, 0 so z minus 0 or the coefficient of 1 over z gives the residue so therefore uh, we can see that the residue here is nothing but uh, a minus 1 or residue is equal to 1 over uh, 5 okay next question uh, is that uh, find uh, the residue of uh, e square e to the power z by z to the power 4 at uh, z equal to uh, 0 okay and uh, we can uh, just expand this so, or uh, we can see that uh, the numerator is uh, analytic and uh, so that into 1 over z to the power 4 so this is a ball of order 4 or you can just use uh, the equation for uh, to find the residue of uh, a pole of order 4 so you can do uh, any method here i will expand this e to the power z by e z to the power 4 is 1 over z to the power 4 into 1 plus expand the numerator z plus z square by 2 factorial plus etc so expanding this uh, multiplying with uh, 1 over z to the power 4 we get 1 over z to the power 4 by 1 over z cube uh, plus uh, 1 over uh, z square into 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over z into 1 over 3 factorial plus etc so this highest negative power is 4 so this is a pole of order 4 and the residue is the coefficient of 1 by z so the residue here is equal to 1 over 3 factorial or uh, 3 factorial is 6 so 1 by 6 so the next question is find the residue of sine z at uh, z equal to infinity so we have seen that uh, at z equal to infinity sine z is an essential singularity please find the residue this is an assignment for you and you can find that the residue is uh, nothing but uh, one in this case okay so the next question is that find the residues of the function f of z is equal to z square plus one divided by z square minus one into z square plus four so the singular point is not uh, given here so we have to find the singular points and we will see that there are four singular points okay so uh, uh, the function blows up or uh, the function will be uh, singular uh, when uh, the denominator is zero so z square minus one equal to zero gives the singular point and z square plus four equal to zero gives another singular point so z square is equal to 1 here z equal to plus or minus 1 so these are two poles and in this case uh, z square is minus 4 and z is equal to plus or minus 2i so these are the poles uh, there are four poles so these are all simple poles no pole repeats so these are simple poles so there are uh, four simple poles for this function at each uh, singularity or at each pole there is a residue and therefore there are four residues so we have to calculate uh, the residues at each pole so first of all we find out the residue of this uh, function at z equal to uh, one that means uh, the singular point z0 here is one okay so uh, now this is since this is a symbol pole we can use the expression for the residue of a symbol pole limit z goes to z0 z minus z0 into f of z so that is equal to so z0 here is 1 limit uh, z goes to 1 z minus 1 into f of z 
f of z is z square plus 1 divided by z square minus 1 into z square plus 4. So, we can factorize this as z square minus 1 as z plus 1 into z minus 1. Uh, so, that uh, z minus 1 uh, here, that is z square minus 1 is written as z plus 1 into z minus 1. So, that z minus 1 on the denominator and the z minus 1 on the numerator cancels and we have z square plus 1 divided by. So, here we will have only z plus 1, uh, z minus 1 is being cancelled out, z plus 1 into uh, z square plus 4. So, now applying the limit, limit z goes to the z goes to 1, then as it's, uh, z square is 1 square plus 1 divided by a 1 plus 1 into uh, 1 square plus uh, 4. Uh, so, that is 1 plus 1 is 2. Uh, so, 2 divided by 2 into 1 square plus 4 is 5. So, 2 and 2 cancels. That is 1 over 5. So, the residue of the function at um, residue of f of z at z equal to 1. So, now the second uh, singular point is uh, z equal to minus 1. So, please find uh, the residue of the function using the same method. Does this an assignment for you? And you can find that the corresponding residue um, of the function at uh, z equal to minus 1 as minus 1 over 5. So, now we can find the residue of the function at uh, z equal to 2i residue of f of z at z equal to 2i. So, here z0 is 2i. So, uh, a minus 1 is equal to limit z goes to 2i, z minus 2i into f of z, z square plus 1 divided by uh, z square minus 1 into uh, z square plus 4 can be factorized as uh, z plus 2i into z minus uh, 2i. So, this z minus 2i cancels and we have uh, um, this uh, now apply the limit we get uh, z square uh, is uh, 2i square that is 2i square plus 1 divided by z square minus 1. z square minus 1 is 2i square minus 1 multiplied by z plus 2i that is 2i plus 2i. So, 2i square um, 2 square is 4 i square is minus 1. So, minus 4 plus 1 divided by minus 4 <coughs> minus 1 into 2i plus 2i is 4i. So, we have a uh, minus 3 in the numerator. So, minus 3 divided by minus 5 into 4i. So, that minus minus cancels. That is uh, 3 by 20i or uh, we know that 1 over i is minus i. Uh, 1 can be written as uh, minus 1 into minus 1. Minus 1 is i square. i square by i is i. So, we have minus i over here. So, this can be also written as minus 3 by 20 i. So, here i is the numerator. So, similarly, please calculate the residue of the function uh, at uh, z equal to o minus 2 i. Okay. And you can uh, find that the result is uh, uh, 3i by 20. So, this is an assignment for you. So, uh, now this is the calculation of residues. Uh, now, um, uh, the next question is that find uh, the closed integral of the function f of z dz where uh, um, over c, where c is the contour uh, mod z is equal to 2. Okay, so here uh, uh, we can use the residue theorem and the f of z is given by z square plus 1 divided by z square minus 1 into z square plus 4, the function given in the previous problem. So, we have already calculated uh, the residues of this function as z square plus 1 divided by uh, z square 
minus 1 into z square plus uh, 4. So these are the singularities. Uh, there are four singularities z equal to plus or minus 1 and um, z equal to plus or minus 2i. And the corresponding uh, residues are 1 over 5 at z equal to 1, uh, minus 1 over 5 at z equal to minus 1, and uh, 1 over uh, minus 3i by 20 at z equal to plus 2i, and uh, 3i by 20 at z equal to minus 2i. So now uh, we have to draw the contour here, mod z equal to 2. So mod z equal to 2 is a circle with uh, center 0 and radius 2. So now we can mark the uh, singularities of the function z equal to plus 1, z equal to minus 1, z equal to plus 2i. So that is on the y axis here, plus 2i and minus 2i. So we can see that all the singular points are on or within the contour. So now closed integral over c f of z dz is equal to uh, 2 pi i into the sum of all residues at singular points within C. We know that in this problem all the singular points are on or within C. Um, points within C or on C. Okay. So 2i and minus C, uh, 2i are on C. Outside the condor running in Amakamati Narthandalo. So uh, 2 pi i into uh, sum of all residues is minus 1 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 5 uh, 3i by 20 minus 3i by 20 plus 3i by 20. So this is 0. So that is equal to 0. So that is the closed integral of f of z dz can be found using the residue theorem also. We can find this uh, integral using uh, Cauchy's uh, integral formula also but here we find it using a residue theorem so you can use any of the methods find the closed integral f of z dz over c where f of z is the same function as before but the contour is different z square plus 1 divided by z square minus 1 into z square plus 4 so here the contour is mod z minus 2 equal to 1 so that is the only difference. Uh, so first of all we have to draw the contour. So the contour is mod z minus 2 equal to 1. So um, the general equation of a circle is mod z minus z0 equal to r. So this is the equation of a circle with center z0 and radius r. And therefore uh, this um, contour corresponds to a circle having center 2 and a radius 1. For radius 1 number, you go to 1 unit mark. Here, you have 3 value. You go to 1 unit 1. So, you have 1 unit. So, then the corresponding i to 1i. You have minus 1i. So, you have a circle and you have a contour. So, we can see that. Uh, uh, now, we have uh, singular points. We have mark it in 1 minus 1 uh, 2i minus 2i. So, we have to a singular point mantra within this contour. So, the closed integral f of z dz uh, over c is equal to uh, f of z dz over c. So, here c is different. Uh, so, 2 pi i into sum of all residues within or on c. So, there is only one singular point here which is uh, z equal to 1 and we have seen that at z z equal to 1, uh, this uh, residue is equal to uh, 1 over 5. So, substituting the value, we get uh, 2 pi i into 1 by 5. So, that is equal to uh, 2 by 5 uh, pi i. So, and uh, if the contour is mod z equal to 3. So, that is the next problem mod z equal to 3. So mod z equal to 3 means a circle with center 0 and radius 3. So then all the contours are uh, within 
See, then again, uh, we can find uh, the integral as closed integral f of z dz as 2 pi i into sum of all residues. That is again 0. Okay, so uh, the important thing is that you have to draw the condo first and uh, verify uh, the which singular points are within or on C. And we have to calculate the residues of the, uh, those um, singular points within C and use the residue theorem to find the result. Okay, thank you. Here we will do some more problems on calculus of residues and uh, calculation of residues. So the next problem is that find the residue of the function f of z is equal to z d to the power z by z minus z whole cube. So here um, uh, the singularity is z minus z whole cube equal to 0 uh, that is uh, z has got three values all are a's okay z equal to a is the point of singularity but it uh, repeats thrice so this is the pole of order three so this is how we calculate the order of the pole uh, from the function itself pole of order you can expand this and find this order of the pole so at z equal to a is the pole of order three so uh, we can find the residue using the expression for uh, pole of order 3 we have seen that a minus 1 is 1 over n minus 1 factorial limit uh, z tends to z0 so here it is a um, d square d raised to n minus 1 divided by dz uh, raised to n minus 1 as z minus a whole raised to n uh, f of z but here n is 3 so a minus 1 is equal to 1 over 3 minus 1 factorial that is 2 factorial limit z tends to a uh, d n minus 1 here is 2 d squared by a d z square of uh, z minus a whole cube into f of z f of z here is z e to the power z divided by z minus a whole cube so this cancels and uh, therefore we have uh, 1 over 2 factorial into limit z tends to a d square by d z square of z d to the power z. So first of all we have to find the first derivative of z d to the power z. So z d to the power z has got the derivative z into derivative of c to the power z. So c to the power z into derivative of z that is 1. So this is the first derivative we need in the second derivative it is going to be by dz of this so that is z e to the power z uh, plus e to the power z first term in the second term in the derivative e to the power z so that is equal to um, uh, z e to the power uh, z plus uh, 2 e to the power z okay the substitute here 1 over 2 factorial limit z tends to a uh, z e to the power z plus 2 e to the power z so applying the limit uh, we get the result as 1 over 2 factorial is uh, 2 factorial is 2 so 1 into 2 so that is 1 over 2 into uh, applying the limit z is a a e to the power a plus 2 e to the power a so 1 by 2 into e to the power a is a common factor so you can take it out uh, a plus 2 into e to the power a so that is the residue so if the residue is known you can file the integral f of z uh, dz over a closed count of c if c is given so hmm, uh, the integral is uh, uh, just 2 pi a i into the residue so there is only uh, one residue provided the singular point as um, z equal to a is within the condor c so if uh, that z equal to a is outside the condor then the integral is uh, zero because uh, the only one residue is outside the condor so if the uh, uh, residue in singularity is within the condor, then it is 2 pi i into this. Okay. Now the next problem is that find the residue of the function 
uh, e to the power i z divided by z square plus a square so now we have to find the singularities or poles of the function first uh, so poles are the points where uh, the function blows up or the denominator goes to zero z square plus a square equal to zero so z square is equal to minus a square z equal to plus or minus i a so these are the poles so these are symbol poles and uh, you can uh, use the uh, equation for symbol pole here but there is another method uh, we have seen that if the functions f of z is of the form uh, phi of z by psi of z then the residue can be easily found uh, that residue of f of z at uh, z equal to 0 can be found as as uh, phi of z divided by psi dash of z at z equal to uh, z 0 okay uh, so the residue of the function but end the method look on now we will add the method let's say you know that then you have to know the fire residue of uh, f of z at z equal to plus i a is equal to here phi phi and i'm carrying numerator on the function the phi and the bar in the e to the power i z down and the only denominator of the analytic on it which is in the ratio uh, z equal to plus or minus i in analytic color so phi is uh, e to the power i z and uh, psi e is equal to z square plus a square derivative of psi that is psi dash of z is equal to 2 z so substitute it of which word uh, the residue is equal to phi e to the power i z by psi dash 2 z at z equal to plus i a so substituting the values here uh, we can find out um, e to the power i into i a so i square e to the power minus a i e to the power i into i a divided by 2 into i a so that is e to the power i square a that is minus a uh, divided by 2 i a so this i can be taken to the denominator numerator so minus i so it will be minus i 1 over i is minus i minus i to the power minus a divided by 2 a so this is the uh, result so similarly you can find uh, the residue of the function at uh, z equal to o minus i a so the same thing uh, e to the power uh, i z by 2 z at uh, z equal to minus i a and please calculate this and you find that the result is i e to the power minus a divided by 2 a okay so uh, if a function is of the form of the ratio of two analytic functions and uh, uh, it has got symbol pole then we can use the uh, this relation that uh, functions of the form phi of z by psi of z has got a residue phi of z 0 divided by psi dash of z 0 or uh, phi by psi dash at z equal to z 0 so that is the result okay now the next problem is that evaluate a closed integral over uh, c tan z dz where uh, c is the whole door uh, mod z equal to 2 so we know that uh, tan z the f of z here is tan z which is uh, sine z by cos z so the poles of this function is given by cos z equal to 0 so we know that uh, the cos z are zeros uh, when z equal to uh, pi by 2 3 pi by 2 or generalizing it we can write it as 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 where n can take values 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 3 so, uh, that is a uh, cos uh, minus pi by 2 is cos pi by 2 so cos minus 3 pi by 2 is cos 3 pi by 2 so for all these values uh, cos z is equal to 0 
so then call z equal to 0 uh, this function stands it will be uh, singular so these are all isolated poles uh, the closer and the for a point pi by 2 3 pi by 2 5 pi by 2 minus pi by 2 etc so in the other number of condor number of the condor is equal to 2 on it's a circle with center 0 and radius 2 we know that uh, pi is 3.14 uh, and uh, therefore the pi by 2 is approximately 1.5 so pi by 2 is uh, something like solved so this is having 2 minus 2 2 i and minus 2 i and um, also uh, minus pi by 2 is here minus 1.57 but 3 pi by 2 5 pi by 2 etc are outside the contour so there are only two singularities uh, within the contour uh, so only z equal to uh, pi by 2 and z equal to minus pi by 2 are within this circle. So we have to calculate the residues at those points only. So uh, these are simple poles. But we have simple pole in the equation near it. You say that it is residue can be z tends to pi by 2, z minus pi by 2 into tan z. You cannot evaluate this. So we have to use the phi of z divided by phi of z on the variable in the equations we use in the above now carrying the sin z by cos z on the variable formula and phi of z is equal to sin z and psi uh, of z is equal to cos z so we have to uh, find the residue uh, silly using the expression uh, that is uh, the residue of the functions of this form is given by a minus 1 is equal to phi of uh, z0 divided by psi dash of z0 phi of z by psi of z and z equal to z0. So psi dash of z is uh, the derivative of cos z that is uh, minus sin z. So uh, sin z uh, by minus sin z at uh, z equal to z0. Okay, so that is uh, minus 1 at uh, z equal to z0. So whatever be the singular point uh, here, uh, the residue is minus 1. Uh, singular points in Amla conducted pi by 2 aumbudum uh, a minus 1 and or in the minus 1 arikin minus pi by 2 aumbudum a minus 1 is minus 1 and close the integral mm, f of z uh, dz over c here is equal to 2 pi i into sum of all uh, residues so that is equal to um, 2 pi i into uh, minus 1 plus minus 1 so 2 pi i into minus 2 that is minus 4 pi i is the other side so we uh, so from this problem we can understand um, uh, the importance of uh, calculating residues of the functions of the form phi of z by psi of z upon method you say the matre namka the problem so now you have some uh, assignments the first question is that find the residue of the function f of z is equal to z square minus 2z divided by z plus 1 whole square into z square plus 4 and also find a closed integral f of z dz over the condo c which is equal to mod z equal to 2. So now the next question is that find the integral 1 over 2 pi i closed integral over c to the power z t divided by z square into z square plus 2 z plus 2 where c is the condor mod z equal to 3. So now the next problem is that find closed integral over c uh, z minus 3 divided by z square plus 2 z plus 5. Uh, so we have to do this for 3 condors. Uh, for first one is uh, c equal to mod z equal to 1. And the second question is that uh, mod z plus 1 minus i equal to 2. And the third one is that z plus 1 plus i equal to 2. So this is uh, a circle with uh, center. Uh, so this is of the form mod z minus z 0 equal to r. So the center of this is minus 1 plus i. Okay, so you can mark it as minus 1 plus i and the coordinate axis. 
മൈനസ് വൺ മാർക്ക് ചെയ്യുക ഐ മാർക്ക് ചെയ്യുക ഓക്കെ ഈ പോയിന്റ് ആണ് ആ സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് ആയിട്ട് വരുന്നത് ഫൈൻ ക്ലോസ് ഇന്റഗ്രൽ ഇറ്റ് ദി പേഴ്സ് ദെറ്റ് ഡി സെറ്റ് ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ സെറ്റ് മൈനസ് വൺ ഇൻ ടു സെറ്റ് പ്ലസ് ത്രീ ഹോൾ സ്ക്വയർ വേർ സി ഇസ് ദി കോണ്ടോർ മോഡ് സെറ്റ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ത്രീ ബൈ ടു ആൻഡ് സെക്കൻഡ് പാർട്ട് ഇസ് മോഡ് സെറ്റ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ടെൻ Uh, now if c is a simple closed curve enclosing z equal to plus or minus i show that closed integral over c z e to the power z t divided by z square plus 1 whole square d z is equal to i pi t sin t and you have two more problems uh, please do this problems also as an assignment okay thank you